Hello, this is Evangelist Robert L. McKim, Sr. Yesterday, I made a couple videos trying to explain why I eat what I eat. I showed documentation from my doctor, documentation from when I had my gas reflux test, documentation from uh, when I was diagnosed being diabetic well, hyper, with hyperglycemia and then diabetic and why I eat well I mean come on now what are you going to eat being a diabetic tell me what are you going to eat for breakfast that is high in protein Eggs is high in protein. I eat eggs in the. I eat eggs. I try to eat eggs every morning. <clears throat> Meat is 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 protein. Whether it's uh, pork or uh, or uh, beef. Fish and chicken is real. Is, and turkey's the highest. It's in you know meat. That's in that's. The highest protein in, in meat. Then you get your uh, beef and you got your pork. Then a lot of people say, "Well, you should eat uh, cottage cheese or and uh, fruits for breakfast." Some people think just cereal, eating cereal, uh, you know. But you, you got to eat. A lot of sir. Basically, I personally would have to eat probably three bowls of cereal, three or four bowls of cereal every morning to get enough protein in my body to keep my sugar balanced until my next meal. So why why eat three or four bowls of cereal versus a good hearty breakfast? My body is my body. It's not your body. You 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 know you don't know everything that's I've been going through with my body for all the years I've been going through. But yet there's people out there that think they know better. They think they're smarter, way smarter, way better than me. Walk a mile in my shoes, then you have room to judge me. Until then, you have no room. To judge me because one I'm not doing anything immoral in my life for you to be able to judge me yet yeah, the Bible says judge not lest you be judged but it also says judge rightfully as well if you cannot rightfully judge me you have no room to judge me walk a mile my shoes that's what that means Rightfully judge me. Put yourself in my place. A lot of people don't want to put themselves in my place. That's another problem. They think they're better to put themselves in my place. But actually, God says, uh, we are no better than anybody else. We're all equal in His eyes if we believe in Him. Uh, in Matthew... In Matthew 25, Jesus says, Matthew 25, starting with uh, 31, no, excuse me, yeah, 31, let me start there. At the title, the title of this says, The Son of Man will judge the nations. When the Son of Man comes in His glory and, and all the holy angels with Him, 
Then he will sit on the throne of his glory, and all the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. And he will set the sheep on his right hand, which are his basically his uh, bride, but the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you, for you, um, prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, you gave me food. I was thirsty, you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, you visited me. I was in prison, you came to me. And the righteous, oh, that's the religious people, will answer him saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you and a stranger and take you in or naked and clothe you? Or <clears throat> when did we see you sick? Were in prison and come to you. And the king will answer and say to them, As surely as I say, inasmuch as you did it to one of these, of the least of these, my brethren, you did to me. I'm going to stop there. And, uh, you know, yesterday I was mentioned about I was having some financial problems because basically I spent everything I had for three dozen eggs and a gallon of milk and a thing of creamer. I'm trying to save the $25.18 I have on my credit card until after they take out the interest. Won't be, of course, that won't be until around the 25th of the month which isn't until basically another whole week I got a whole another week to go and a weekend to go before I know for sure how much I can spend on that credit card well <clears throat> I went and got Renee's medication today from Drug Mart and I was discount drug mark and I was hoping maybe there would be enough points so I can get a gallon of milk because of the fact points we have this card and we every time we get medicine or anything in the store and we show them the card we get points well we had 97.76 points from last year that has to be used by the end of this by the end of this month <laughs> problem is what do I do with that oh hang on a second the problem is there's no way of uh, using just 97 points on top of the points I already have more or less, last year points doesn't go with this year's points. Uh, so, let's see here. 125 points. Hamburger or hot dog buns. Uh, this drug marked uh, 16 ounce loaf of white bread is 125 points. Uh, 200 points for, uh, 10 ounce bag of potato chips. Or, uh, a dozen of eggs. Of course, milk is 250 points. And, um, uh, 24 pack of bottled water for 350 points. Or, for 100 points, I get it and I get a random movie. 
Wow, like, I, like I need, I, I, we, we can go to the library and get movies. I got two free movies uh, from uh, Dish that I can watch before April. See, right here is a list of everything that uh, I can get with the points when it comes to, you know, food. And here is how many points we have so far built up. Only 130 for <coughs> this month. The 97 points would have put us basically to the 150, uh, 250. It'll put us a little over, actually. But, can't, there's no way of uh, getting a gallon of milk. I only have one gallon of milk. Well, it's probably less than a gallon now because we've uh, been uh, drinking milk. So once that milk's gone, there's no more milk for this month until after I can use my credit card. God's Word says... In uh, Galatians, uh, Galatians uh, 6, starting with verse 1, God's word says, Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual... Restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness, considering yourself least you also be tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Anyhow, long story short. A lot of people say, well, we're no longer under the law. We're under grace. But yet, there are many places throughout the Bible that says, fulfill the law of Christ. Fulfill the law of Christ. Fulfill the law of Christ. Jesus himself had said that he did not come to abolish the law. But he came to fulfill the law. He came to fulfill the law. He came to be the law. And we are supposed to do what? Write the law on our hearts. Oh, let me go back and find that. Oh, there it is. Matthew 5. Do not think I come to destroy the law. Jesus didn't come to destroy the law. He came to fulfill the law. Of the prophets, I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For surely I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, one dot, jot or tittle, by this no means pass from the law till it is fulfilled. So in other words, the law the earth and the earth basically the heaven and earth has to pass away first before the law is done away with. Because then we'll be in the perfect kingdom. We'll be under his reign and rule. We won't need the law then. Because actually we'll be under his rule and under his law. See, we're, we're under a law, yes. We're under the law that Christ had set up. The law that we're supposed to love one another as we love ourselves. We're supposed to love God with our heart, mind, soul, and body. 
But see, nobody wants to say that. Nobody wants to say, well, we're no longer under the law. We're under grace. Therefore, all is forgiven. Once you accept Jesus Christ and His blood, you're forgiven and all is forgiven. And if you kill somebody, that's forgiven. If you kill yourself, that's forgiven. I mean, come on now. You still have to answer for what you do. You still have to answer for what you're not doing as well. And Jesus said plainly, if you don't feed the hungry, if you don't give drink to the thirsty, if you don't clothe the naked, if you don't take people in, if you don't go visit the sick or people in prison, then he's going to judge the nations. 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 He's going to judge the nations. I need uh, some more milk and some more hamburger and some more sausage. We got sausage. But let me show you the sausage that we got. We got a while back. We got several packages from the ministry. I, I've showed this before. Here's the sausage from the food bank. See, right here it's from the food bank. Let me try to open this up a little bit to show you. It's from the food bank. Pork patties. Uh, uh, fully cooked, so it's already cooked. All you have to do is basically heat it up either in conventional oven or the microwave. But let me tell you something. When you heat these up, when you heat these up, see how they are? Because they're freezer burnt. But when you heat these up, I got several I got several other bags of these in the deep freezer. When you heat those up, <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm finding a chest cold, I'm finding a head cold, I need some medication that I can't afford. I need some, uh, that Tussum CF, but I can't afford that. When you heat those up, they are tough as shoe leather. I mean, come on, I might as well just be eating shoe leather. They those. I want real pork made the right way that I can form into pork patties and, and, and you know, that has more moisture than what those have. Those are dried out old shoe leather pork patties. And that's what they gave us at the food pantry here uh, <clears throat> last year. And if I go to, well, you know, up the road here, to the church that is over the food pantry, he'll probably give me a gift card to the Jolly General Store for like $25. Because that's all they usually do. If you need food right away, they'll give you <clears throat> a gift card. To uh, the Dollar General store. My church had given me a gift card to Thorns, which is even higher priced than uh, the Dollar General store is. And then uh, he has the, the church, you know, the pastor has helped me a few times for gas. But let me tell you something the church I'm going to. Is barely making enough to pay the uh, budget payment on the light bill, the electric bill. It's an all electric church. They have uh, heat pumps to heat the church with. They they don't have water and sewer because they have a septic system and they have a well. So they don't they save money there. 
They just have the, you know, the electric bill basically for heating the church and keeping the church cool and lighting the church. They got got it set for a thousand dollars for the budget, thousand a month. Barely making enough to pay the light bill. Let alone trying to help me and Renee out all the time. I mean, I asked the pastor to come and pray for us. He did once. And, uh, but, you know, nobody else comes from the church. Nobody else stops by from the church. Or any other church, for that fact, to check on us. It's like we don't exist when it comes to all the other churches around here. But if we go to their church, then maybe they might stop by. Maybe. Thanksgiving, we got a food box from uh, a church. Some uh, the. Church of Christ, I think it was. Stopped by people from Church of Christ that <clears throat> stopped by. Was giving out the extra food boxes that they had. Which we do have a big turkey still from that. Because we had bought a small turkey before we ate that for Thanksgiving and ate a big chicken for Christmas. We still had that big turkey. But, you know, if I, uh, on, with all that, need that, that's not going to last very long. The big turkey. And Renee, she doesn't like leftovers if it's more than a day. So, we're kind of like, I'll be eating the leftovers more than she would. We're struggling this month. And some people think, well, I'm mismanaging the money. No, well, not really. Got bills to pay, and you didn't we buy groceries with what's left over. I'm paying my bills, and I'm not being like my deceased mother did when uh, she was alive, Rob Peter to pay Paul, and get so far in debt that uh, they filed bankruptcy. Long story short, where are the Christians? Where are the true brothers and sisters in Christ? Without the complaining, without the backbiting, without uh, thinking that they're better than me and, and trying to tear me down. Where are the true Christians in Christ? The true brothers and sisters that's willing to do something to help. Not asking for an, uh, a, a gold bar. Just asking for some food that we need. And uh, a core oil and some medication. Is that too much to ask for? Well, I hope you understand what I'm going through and uh, try to put yourself in my place. Cause a lot of people, you, a lot of you people probably were in my place at one point in time, and you probably vowed you never go go there ever again. You got your good paying jobs, and you got everything that you want, and then some, and you probably promised yourself that you will never be there again where you was before. But you've also made a promise you won't help anybody else that's in the same boat. Well, <clears throat> God bless you. Have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus is the only true way to God, to everlasting life. Not eternal life. God's the eternal. Jesus is eternal. 
Everlasting life is what we will have. God bless you. Have a blessed day.